Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ricky V. And today we're going to talk about epiandrosteron. Now, epiandrosteron is one of the most popular and one of the oldest prohormones that is still available today. It has been known by many names throughout the years. It was isolated back in 1931 by Adolf Freitich and Jonathan Butenat. Just a little bit of a history there for you guys. Uh, they distilled over 17,000 liters of male urine from which they got about 50 milligrams of crystalline androsteron. It was probably not pure. It was most likely mixed with uh, different isomers. It was enough of the material to actually be able to develop a chemical formula for it and have some tests with it uh, to begin uh, to start. You know, epiandrosteron has been shown to naturally occur in, in the majority of mammals, you know, just everything from humans to dogs to even pigs. This prohormone is naturally produced by the enzyme 5A reductase. Now, I hope you guys have already seen some of our other episodes on 1-DHEA, 4-DHEA, 19-NOR-DHEA, 7-OXO-DHEA. I've discussed all of those in this video series. And epiandrosteron is naturally occurring when the 5 reductase enzyme turns DHEA into epiandrosteron, which is a little funny uh, little chemistry tidbit to note. DHEA stands for dehydroepiandrosterone. It is the 5 reductase enzyme that turns it into epiandrosterone. Now, it's that same 5 reductase enzyme that turns testosterone into DHT, into dehydrotestosterone. So the 5 reductase enzyme has an effect on several different hormones. Testosterone, it turns it into dehydrotestosterone. But when you take dehydroepiandrosterone, that same 5 reductase enzyme turns it into epiandrosterone. And now this is a series for the vintage muscle product line. So I'm going to go ahead now and start talking to you about how to actually use the Epi Androsteron product in the two vintage muscle products that contain it. How you can mix them, put them together, and put them into a stack. Look guys, there isn't a whole lot that I can really say to convince you that Epi Androsteron is effective. There are hundreds of supplements out there that contain Epi Androsteron as one of the main ingredients. This prohormone has been around for almost 100 years. Uh, 1931, I just said it was identified. And in the meanwhile, it has not been put into legislature as being an illegal product. However, if you do plan Play an organized sport, you know, WADA, Olympic Committee, any of that stuff, and you get popped with epiandrosterone in your system, uh, you're going in for a penalty. It's definitely a known performance enhancer by every major sports organization in the world. And now for guys like you and me that are just trying to look good with our shirt off, what do we need to do to take advantage of epiandrosterone and all of its anabolic androgenic effects? Well, here's a good place to start. Go to vintage-muscle.com and click on the buy now button at the top. This will lead you to the product page. On the very top left, you got the alpha test stack. That is a full stack featuring epiandrosterone as the main anabolic prohormone in that stack. Also, if you look below the win test product, win test contains epiandrosterone along with another compound that is very anabolic, very androgenic, and is going to help you cut. I'm going to have a video on that one later. But for today, let's just focus on epiandrosterone and how you can best use it to help you achieve the physique you're looking for. Now, epiandrosterone you want to use while you're cutting. You really want to make that your cutter. You want to use this product anytime you're trying to both hold on to muscle mass as you cut calories down. And also when you're trying to help your caloric burning along. You're trying to help your body utilize stored fat for energy instead of the energy that's in your muscle cells. And epiandrosterone is just a great tool to use towards this end. Epiandrosterone is just one of those pro-hormones which conversion paths are going to lead it towards some anabolism and androgenic effect. And out of all of the pro-hormones in the market, epiandrosterone is one that I feel like is kind of misunderstood. It's got several different conversions. It can convert to androsterone to, to 4-adione. Uh, it can convert to 3-B-adiol. It can convert to 7 hydroxy epiandrosterone, and then each of those have conversions down the line. When it comes to the conversions that epiandrosterone makes, it's always going to be some anabolic androgenic agent. It might be very anabolic or very light on the androgenic side. Some conversions down the line might even be estrogenic in nature, but not strong estrogens. In my opinion, if there are any estrogenic compounds that are going to derive from epiandrosterone, they'll most likely be very, very weak estrogens. 
And look, guys, weak, weak estrogens generated by some of these pro-hormones can actually act as anti-estrogens and ca as counters to estrogens. Think about the case of, say, tamoxifen or clomiphene, two very popular selective estrogen receptor modulators that are available in the market right now. Now, these are compounds that are going to attach to estrogen receptors, but they're not going to affect any real signal at the receptor that they keep your real estrogen out. And that is why they're so good at helping you with side effects when it comes to steroid use. As I look at all the conversion paths that are possible for this hormone, and I see the possibility of it becoming an estrogen down the line, if at all, is going to be a weaker estrogen. It's going to be a weak estrogen that's probably going to compete against your real, your real strong estrogen that comes from testosterone. It's probably going to compete against that for receptor sites. And so this is why epiandrosterone has been regarded as one of the better cutting agents out there is one of the drying agents out there because of all of the conversions that I'm, that I'm looking at in this hormone and unless I'm missing something here guys all of the conversions are going to be anabolic androgenic and if those metabolites then later have any conversions to anything that might be somewhat estrogenic is going to be a very weak very very weak estrogen that's actually going to act as an anti-e and that is my real kind of personal opinion after all my years of knowing this you're not going to read this anywhere else you're going to read a lot of uh, different things about epiandrosterone uh, possibly converting to, to stanzolo to winstrol and i'm not going to say that's not a possibility i'm just going to say that everything that i've seen so far about it doesn't seem as though that might be a very close or very near conversion that might be several conversions down the line really up close you're looking at androsterone 4-dione 3-b-diol 7-a hydroxy epi you're looking at those kind of immediate conversions that are just going to help you make more muscle gains. And when you cut down your calories, when you starve down in order to get cut, your body is going to mostly utilize fat for energy and your muscles will be spared. One thing to remember, guys, is when you take something like epiandrosterone from the Vintage Muscle product line, it's completely different than taking some over-the-counter kind of herbal testosterone booster. These herbs are going to help your testes make more testosterone. That's what over-the-counter regular herbal testosterone boosters do. When you take epiandrosterone, you're actually adding into your body more of the hormones that you would hope your testes would make from taking an herbal supplement. You're going past the endocrine system. You're not trying to uh, boost your testes to produce something for you. You're just putting it into your body. Epiandrosterone works that way. You're adding exogenous hormones into your body more than your body could make. If you just bought a big stack from the vintage muscle product line and you took it as directed or maybe stacked two or three different cycles together from the vintage muscle product line, you would in essence be entering, bringing into your body more hormones, more pro-hormones, anabolic hormones that your testicles could ever produce naturally. And that's a big difference, guys. That's the big difference between uh, taking something like epiandrosteron or taking some tribulus and, and toncata lee or horny goat weed and, and waiting for those herbs to over the days and the times kind of stimulate your latex cells and your testes to produce some more testosterone. You could do that and, and many guys do and it's pretty effective. There, there are tons of these herbal testosterone boosters out there and they do have some action, they do work. However, when you add, when you bring in, when you put in anabolic hormones into your body where you're not just relying on your testes to create these via the stimulation that you're providing with the supplements, but no, you're actually taking in with the dropper, boop, boop, vintage muscle product line. You could take it three, four, 500 milligrams of some of these very effective hormones right into your body daily. Since these are not methylated, they're not going to hurt your liver the way something like Anavar or Dianabol would. So taking the vintage muscle product lines is probably the best shortcut you can take towards creating the body you really want, making progress faster than natural, uh, getting the body of your dreams. I mean, look, something like epiandrosterone, if you take it in nice doses, maybe uh, you mix it with the one DHEA stack, something like that if you grab the one DHEA stack, epiandrosterone, and you actually cut your calories way down, you're going to look way leaner. You're going to look much leaner than you ever did natural. Veins popping out, estorations, everything. You know why? Because the higher levels of hormones that your body is going to have by taking epiandro and one DHEA, say in a stack, one of those, it's not going to let your body eat away at muscle mass for calories as you're cutting down. 
Now, if you didn't take any of the vintage muscle products and, and you just diet it down, you could get pretty lean, but you're not gonna get ripped shredded. Y your body will start to eat away at that muscle mass for energy way quicker, way sooner than you can get into the mid to low single digits in body fat percentage. That's why bodybuilders and any of us that want to get ultra ripped, super ripped, we take exogenous hormones. That way our body cannot cannibalize on our muscle gains for energy. It'll have to, it'll be forced to use mainly fat storages for energy. That's how bodybuilders get up to 300 pounds at three, four percent body fat for a show. And that is how a lot of Instagram models and, and dudes out there that you think are natural are actually using a little something extra in the hormonal realm, like the vintage muscle products, in order to help you. All right, guys. Well, look, that's it for me today. Don't forget to go to the vintage muscle community. Let them know that you're going to pick up the epiandrosterone stack and ask them what else you can take it with. The vintage muscle community is always there to help. If you have any questions, if you need anything related to your cycle or anything going on with your training, make sure to post up in the community. I'll see you there. Ricky V Rock out.